Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, you're going to learn how to identify eye accessing cues, identify the lead representational system, and then how to use predicate phrases to become a master communicator. As you learn these skills, you become more persuasive and a lot more influential in the lives of the people that are important to you and who you rely on to become more successful. So the first thing is, is you want to use your sensory acuity. As you use your sensory acuity, you want to identify where the client's eyes are moving. Now, these eye accessing cues show you where the client goes to access information. If they're looking up into their left, this is visual remembered. If they're looking up into their right, this is visual construct. If they're looking at either top left or top right, they're accessing information visually. If they're looking over to their left or to their right, they're accessing information auditorily. Over to the left is auditory recall. Over to the right is auditory construct. If they're looking down into their left and accessing information, they're going down to the auditory digital component. If they're looking down into their right, they're accessing their kinesthetics. So remember, the client is always looking in certain directions, some faster than others, some a little bit slower than others. But they're always giving clues, so always keep an eye on physiology. Remember, physiology is 55% of your communication. And most of the time, it's unconscious. And the eyes, let me tell you this, virtually 100% unconscious, unless you've been NLP trained. Now, what you want to do is you want to take a baseline. Where does the client predominantly move their eyes? And as they move their eyes, what you want to do is you want to tie in the predicate phrases with these eye movements. So let me give you an example. If a client is looking up into their left and gathering information visually, you could say to them, hey, Daniel, let me give you a bird's eye view on what this project will look like. Now, my unconscious mind will say, thank you, because I love in visual information. You might say, Daniel, you might get a glimpse of this as you get a little bit closer to your goal. And I'll lean forward because that's very compelling. And why is it compelling? Because just a moment ago, I was accessing information visually, and then you used a visual predicate phrase. Remember, this information goes straight through the conscious mind, bang, down to the unconscious mind, and you increase and deepen that rapport. If a client is predominantly looking over to their left or looking over to their right, you could say to them, Daniel, we've had idle talk during this meeting. What I'd like to do is get into some specifics. And the client will go, I agree. Sometimes, if they're looking to the left and the right, you might say, Daniel, you may be a little bit tongue-tied right now and find it more difficult to talk about what you desire. And if that's the case for the person, that will be very compelling. Remember, empathy is your ability to read other people's emotional makeup. This is all part of the emotional makeup. And if you can demonstrate this by communicating with clarity, then you'll be perceived as a very caring person person. Now, if I'm looking down into my left, you might say, Daniel, why don't you go ahead and do the maths? Start crunching the numbers. And if I'm a very AD person, I will love you when you say that to me. If I'm looking down to the right and accessing information down here, you'll say, Daniel, it all boils down to one thing. Now, for a kinesthetic person, that is very compelling because it all boils down to one thing. It's a kinesthetic. So let's review what we've learned today. First of all, your job is to use your sensory acuity to monitor the eye accessing cues. Where is this person going to access information? Once you've seen the pattern, predominantly when they're accessing the eye cues at any given time or shortly after, you'll say, Daniel, in light of our conversation today, I'd like to talk about the next steps. You might say, Daniel, it appears to me you're picturing what this might look like. You might say, Daniel, 
can I call on you for a testimonial later on? Daniel, no more right, we'll talk. Let's get down to business. As you're doing the maths, as you're doing the sums, you can see that it all stacks up. Daniel, it all boils down to this. And what I want you to do is I want you to hang in there because you got this. So your job is to identify the eye accessing cues and then use these predicate phrases to demonstrate that you can read this person's emotional makeup and that you truly care for them. Because if you truly care for somebody, you will pay attention to their eye patterns and you will use these predicate phrases. Go ahead, apply what I've taught you today, and you'll immediately see the results.